1st, we're working to get you the most accurate information on just how many people in Kansas and Missouri have already received COVID-19 vaccines. Investigative reporter Matt Fleener is getting the answers for us. COVID vaccinations in both Kansas and Missouri started last week. At places like Liberty Hospital, they started this week. But tracking how many people in both states have actually received shots is not as easy as you might think. KNBC 9 Investigates did a quick survey finding states like Texas and Michigan have already rolled out public dashboards to see how many have gotten vaccines, but Missouri and Kansas have not. Tuesday, a release from Missouri Governor Parsons' office says 23,000 people have received vaccines, but we don't know where. Kansas has not published statewide numbers yet. So I finished out my semester, had a little bit of extra time. State officials might want to talk to Josh Narona, a junior at Brown University who started the COVID vax dashboard, showing 20 states have vaccine information readily accessible. Already about 0.1% of the U.S. population, he says, has received doses. I think it's, you know, publishing the numbers, making it clear that the state and federal governments you know, they're publishing the data. They're not trying to hide anything, but it's all out there. KMBC 9 investigates asked both state health departments in Kansas and Missouri if they would use public dashboards to showcase the information. In Missouri, they're working on one. In Kansas, they're still trying to figure out the best way to tell us the information. Matt Fleener, KMBC 9 News. The Mid-America Regional Council is also working on a vaccine dashboard for the Kansas City area. More doses of the Pfizer vaccine have been ordered. The company says it will supply the U.S. with 100 million doses under a new agreement with the Trump administration. Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar says this will allow the U.S. to vaccinate every American who wants it by June. Pfizer expects to deliver all the doses by July 31st. As the vaccine rolls out here in the metro, doctors at the University of Kansas Health System are weighing in on how often individuals need to be vaccinated in order to maintain protection from COVID-19. The vaccines rolling out right now require an initial shot and then an additional booster shot weeks later. Doctors at KU say the COVID-19 vaccine will likely need to be administered every year. We do expect that you will need to get a booster um, in a year, kind of like influenza vaccine, but we don't know that for sure. We still need to do the studies, but again, the vaccines have just come out, so we don't have any data about the durability of those. Doctors at KU say so far they have had great success distributing the vaccine to hundreds within the health system. New cases in Kansas are going up since Monday. The state added 5,000 new COVID-19 cases. In Missouri, the seven-day rolling average is going down. It's now at 2,700. In Kansas, the monthly positivity rate is down to 13.6%. The positivity rate in Missouri is staying at 17.1%. Nine months after the pandemic caused millions of layoffs nationwide, the U.S. job market remains under stress. Last week, 803,000 Americans filed first-time unemployment claims. That's on a seasonally adjusted basis. While that's 89,000 less than the previous week, it is still much greater than the pre-pandemic levels. And this is a look at Kansas and Missouri's unemployment claims since May, when businesses were allowed to reopen. The Kansas rate dropped last week to 33,000. Missouri's rate is relatively flat. 8,000 people filed last week. Meanwhile, President Trump is calling on Congress to make major changes to the $900 billion COVID-19 relief bill. Send me a suitable bill or else the next administration will have to deliver a COVID relief package. He's calling the heavily negotiated bill a disgrace. He wants Congress to increase those stimulus checks from $600 to $2,000. If the president doesn't sign the bill, the government could shut down December 28th. Since the bill already passed both chambers, any changes would require unanimous consent in both the House and Senate. With Christmas less than two days away, KCI says this is one of the busiest travel days of the week. More than 100,000 travelers are expected to go through KCI this week. That's down by more than half from last year. If you do have to travel, here's what you can expect. Social distancing markers are placed around the terminals. All transactions are touchless and there are plexiglass barriers at all counters. A spokesperson says the airport is also cleaned constantly. Now we've been keeping a close eye on KCI this afternoon. As of right now, pretty much all the flights are running on time. Across the country, more than 1 million passengers flew for three consecutive days last weekend. And that's the first time that's happened since the pandemic began. The influx in air travel has health officials concerned, though, about Americans not staying home this holiday season. This type of travel is risky, particularly if people start congregating when they get to their destination in larger crowds in indoor settings. I'm afraid that if, in fact, we see this happen, we will have a surge 
that's superimposed upon the difficult situation we are already in. So it could be a very difficult January coming up if these things happen. The TSA's record during the pandemic is still held by November 29th. That's the Sunday after Thanksgiving when more than 1.1 million people flew.